Do Not Google. Today, as always, in the Do Not Google series, I will be showing you things you should not do. It's usually things that are kind of funny or a little bit lighthearted. Today's one is a little bit different. <laughs> a little bit different. I'm worried about this one. I think we're gonna get in trouble. YouTube Roulette. YouTube Roulette is a random video generator. It just goes to a random video on YouTube, regardless of the view account. Welcome to a smaller video within the big video brought to you by Native. I haven't worn deodorant in five years, but recently I was helped by Native. I love Native and all their body care products, especially their deodorant. Native products are vegan, cruelty, aluminum, and paraben free, and they offer 72 hour protection. Everything about this brand is incredible. That's why they've been a sponsor twice now on the channel. Thank you, Native, again. You guys, if you buy anything that they have, you're not gonna be disappointed. Native has a new really cool candy shop collection. I know a thing or two about candy. They all smell incredible. Aloe and green tea is my favorite scent from their sensitive range. I like cucumber and mint as well, and eucalyptus and mint. Honestly, they're all good. Gummy bear flavor, oh. It doesn't smell too sweet, it smells just right. Coconut and vanilla, oh, it's so good. The smell is balanced, it's succulent. Sour berry belts, ooh. It's democracy manifest. It's covered, my bar is old and it's covered in hair and it's really gross, but here it is. They've also got lotion, I have some lotion too. Use my link and code Oompaville2 to get 20% off your first purchase with Native, guys, please. It's incredible, you will not be disappointed and you'll be directly supporting the channels. Random YouTube video generators have been around for a good while now. You just click a button and then it shows you some random video on YouTube. Most of the videos on YouTube have zero views because there's billions of hours that are uploaded every week or day or minute or second. I don't know the math. I don't care. I know it's a lot though. Most of the videos that these programs show you are just innocuous things. Sometimes they're a little weird. Sometimes they can be scary unsettling and even creepy. And YouTube Roulette seems to be a little bit more on the creepy side, the ARG side, almost. We found some really bizarre stuff on this thing. I was only on it for about an hour and I found, I found some really, really bizarre, untouched, unseen content that has no views, except for me, that I'd like to show you guys today. So, are you ready? Get ready. Here's one. One uploaded by Kwon Fu Dong. Could be nice. What a nice woman. I feel like I, we could get married after watching that short clip. Thank you, YouTube Roulette. This guy sounds like he's out of breath. My eyelid. This is a uh, wisdom tooth moment. I don't get it. I don't speak whatever language it says. I think it might be Chinese. I don't know. I can't really tell. This one has uh, TikTok in the title, and also, as you can tell, has 23 million views. And it's a person doing little faces. How does this have 23 million views? <laughs> I don't get it, man. COVID was a weird time. It ruined the entire planet. It ruined the entire planet in many ways, in many ways. This is a guy that just filmed himself playing the piano. He's very good. It's just weird. I feel like I'm not supposed to see this. You know what I mean? I just feel like I'm not supposed to be looking at this video right now. He didn't intend for me to see that, but he also uploaded it publicly to YouTube. Yeah, this one's really creepy to me because I don't speak the language that they're speaking. That's some Balkan shit right there, dude. That's some Balkan shit. I tell you what, me and my Balkan brothers. Yet another foreign video. This is just a small Appaloosa playing with a large green ball. Poorly recorded. <laughs> yes. This uh, ACDC's unreleased song called Little Tiny Horse Playing with a Green Ball. This one creeps me out so much. Who would post that? Who would post that? No one. A skinwalker would post that. That's so creepy. Also just creepy. Just a really bad video. And this was posted only 10 years ago. And it looks like it was filmed a hundred years ago. This looks like Leonardo da Vinci filmed it in his first flying machine. Here we go, guys. This is what I see when I wake up. Mm. Ah! This is extremely bizarre. This guy's just modulating some, some drone sounds. I am modulating drone sounds. Very creepy. What? He's just summoning hell right now. This guy's just summoning hell. I like this one a lot. This is, this is one that I found. This is 
short period of time that editing is so bizarre. So it's random, random, very strange. Don't like it. Never post again, ever. As far as the random video generators go, YouTube Roulette, there's an opportunity to see some a couple strange things, okay? The most unique generator that I've used thus far is called astronaut.il. It plays only videos that are five seconds or less. It's almost comforting because it's like you're just watching humanity in a weird way. And you can play music with this space bar. Look, there's this guy, this guy's just singing religiously or something. What is all this? It is sad, this is very sad. We're just watching humanity flying over space, over the earth. Beautiful. Polsk. It's a Polsk. Oh, little guys playing football. It's almost comforting. Strangely comforting. Weird. It's all just weird. It's all just weird. The, the random titles, the, the bizarre, unexpected nature, the content of each video, it's just... <laughs> it makes me really uncomfortable. Here's one. <laughs> this one shook me to my core. I'm scared to death after watching this. See, this should be viral. That has 20 views. Should be viral. Okay. I feel like I'm not supposed to see this. Very strange. Yeah, that's not, this is not for me. Neither is this. Is those pepperoni? Are those pepperoni, is that cereal? Is that pepperoni or cereal? Who's this for? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if you panned the camera away and there was just a dead body right there. YouTube generators are really cool, very creepy. You'll find some weird stuff. And with the click of a button, you can just see something that wasn't necessarily meant to be seen or something that YouTube didn't want you to see or that the algorithm didn't want you to see or that just was so unimportant that you just would never see it. But it's still there. That's what's weird. There's over 3.7 million videos uploaded every single day to YouTube. It's not possible to watch that many. And maybe it's a good thing that a lot of these videos don't get seen because some of them are really, really, really creepy. So stay in your YouTube feed, guys. Don't use random YouTube generators so you don't accidentally stumble upon something you weren't supposed to see. Exit Monday. There are infinite ways that the world could end, all right? Many ways for ultimate destruction of humankind, the earth, and everything that we know and love. Bye bye. POV me when I figured out the sun would blow up as a nine year old. And my dad came in my room after I started crying and said, It's all right, son, I'll, I'll die too. And I was like, That doesn't help, dad, I'm not. There's a lot of ways we could all cease to exist. And there's a little tool called Exit Monday that we could use to maybe figure out what would it be like. All right, what would it be like if the world just ended in that way? Exit Money is a website. It's outdated and there's a lot of pictures and links and stuff that just don't work anymore. Maybe because the guy got died. Maybe <laughs> I just said he got died. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm stupid. I was thinking potentially that the Exit Monday website was created in a different reality and it slipped into our reality and then that reality died. Uh, it exploded and exited Monday. Yeah, it's a pretty schizophrenic website. Let's check it out. The most interesting end to the world is supposed to happen in 2040 and it's called Assimilate. I think that implies the assimilation of human and, and cybernetics, which makes sense now with all the AI stuff going on. We're gonna be plugged into the Borg. Okay, guys, the giant cube. Hail the cube. Yeah, we're already basically there. I mean, people have cybernetic limbs. There's AI that's as intelligent as us. We need regulation. Help! We're already plugged into the board, brother. There's another one that just says the sun will explode, which makes sense. That one freaked me out a lot as a kid. Haven't you guys seen the movie 2012? That's basically what this is. All right, the Mayan calendar. Not really, but there is the zombie apocalypse. There's a lot of stuff. Let's, let's check it out. Here's the website. It's definitely quite schizophrenic. They're all in these little categories as well. Any day now, zap, boil, flash, shiver, meow. <laughs> oh! The amount of information and analysis that went into all of these endings on this website is genuinely impressive. This is one about uh, uh, magma again. Volcanoes erupting. No one really knows what sparked off the event, but it's happening again. Volcanoes. 1783. Lucky volcano and ice erupted, building almost five cubic kilometers of the super hot lava. Um, it seems a bit like it was written uh, by a middle schooler. There's not a lot of proofreading. The website, like I said, it just is not 
working that well. And it's old because it says near future and then one of the years is 2007. In 2020, we had an oops moment and a humidium moment. Let's see what oops is. That was recent. Er, I think I messed up the universe a bit. Scientists accidentally triggered the end of the universe. Well, didn't we do that with the Hyd Hadron Collider or whatever? We, we, did we blow up a, we blow up a weasel? The weasel timeline? Fuck. What if all this was accurate? I'm getting freaked out now. This whole thing is so creative though. I love this. It's very smart. Isn't life a bitch? The world is going to end. You don't even have to be religious fundamentals to see it's true. It's a pretty wild idea to just propose different scenarios in which the world could end. Um, I like this one. Let's click on uh, Osama. Trouble with the terrorists. I feel like I shouldn't be looking at this website. I feel like I'm on a list now. Collection of end of world scenarios and detailed plans on how to carry them out. <laughs> the 2019 murder of Cynthia Hoffman. We all know murdering is bad, okay? No one has to tell you that. It's pretty implied. And there's so many crazy stories about people getting getting murdered, whatever. True crime is a massive thing now. There's one that is so bizarre and so deep and so unexpected that it makes my ball hair tingle. I shouldn't really be so, uh, so blasé about this, to be honest. Someone was murdered. Not only is it strange to murder someone, but the reason for this murder is even more bizarre than you can imagine. I guarantee you're not gonna be able to guess what happens here. The murderer is a woman named Denali, and she killed someone at the behest of a man that she met online who offered her $9 million to kill someone and make a video of it. The man that she met that led her to do all this stuff was known as Tyler. He claimed to be a millionaire from Kansas. And he's a funny looking guy. He's a pretty, pretty normal, normal guy. He looks scared, honestly. And also what's crazy is that Tyler wasn't even his real name. His real name was Darren Schillmiller or something. And he's from Indiana. I didn't even know Indiana was real until recently. And this fellow, Darren or Tyler, whatever you want to call him, he was catfishing Denali. So nothing was real. This whole relationship fake catfish. That's crazy. This guy offered her $9 million, $10 million, whatever it was to murder someone uh, and video it. Who is worse here? Is it the guy, Darren, or is it the murderer, Denali? I feel like it's hard to even understand the, the way that this, like what this means or how bad this actually is. And as you can probably expect, it gets a little bit weird. Denali didn't even do it alone. She recruited her friend to assist her under the promise that she'd share the money that they got from filming this murder. Tyler portrayed himself as a millionaire and convinced Bremer that he'd share his fortune under one condition, she'd have to murder someone in Alaska. While Bremer chose Hoffman as the victim and actually recruited several friends to help her commit the crime in exchange for a share of the alleged cash reward. The victim of this entire plan was known as Cynthia. It is unfortunately believed that she was picked as a target because she had learning disabilities and she was seen as an easy victim by the, the perpetrators. And these horrible evil people took Cynthia on a trip under the false pretense of just going hiking and hanging out and having, you know, fun at Thunderbird Falls. That was just one part of the plan. Family says that she has the intellectual capacity of a 12 year old into going on a hiking trip. They bound her feet, they bound her hands, they bound her mouth with duct tape before firing the fatal shot. Denali and the other culprits also destroyed Cynthia's personal belongings and texted her parents to let them know that she'd be dropped off at the park to go hiking. She wasn't found for two days and during that time she was missing, her family was desperate to find her. And during the time of the crime being committed, Denali reportedly sent multiple photos and videos to Tyler uh, and this would all be used against her in her trial. I can't imagine what was going through his head. Did he actually think she was gonna do it? Is this guy just a murderer by proxy? Is it manslaughter? What is it? Is it the death penalty? I say A, I say A, but I'm just crazy, so. Denali pled guilty to murder, accepted a plea deal, and had five other charges dropped, which is unfortunate, but it was conspiracy to commit murder, solicitation to commit murder in the first degree, tampering with evidence, and two other theories of murder in second degree. The most interesting part about this whole thing, though, is her behavior in court. She has almost no care or emotion for what she'd done. What a terrible human. I mean, obviously you have to be a psychopath to be a murderer anyways, um, especially for money. Yeah, it's disgusting and, and terrible. At least she admits she did something wrong, which is a stark contrast to Darren who pled not guilty. Can you imagine that? You give someone, offer someone $9 million to kill someone, they do it and you're like, I'm not guilty. That's just, that's not my fault, shit. The evil and horrible piece of shit murderer will be sentenced in August, thankfully. Uh, and will face between 30 and 99 years in prison. Hopefully 99 at least. The would It would be too short, in my opinion. And the father of the victim will be there uh, every step of the way to make sure she's punished to the fullest extent of the law, which is great. 
That's great. Great. Good. Get justice for your daughter. It's so unfortunate. And this messed up so many people's lives, too. People are so evil and do stuff for just no, seemingly no reason. I mean, money, whatever. But it's not that important. Like, it's money is not worth murder. It's just not. It just doesn't make sense. Especially not even doing the due diligence. Getting scammed. Not only being a murderer, but also just getting scammed. Like, how dumb do you have to be? It ruins so many people's lives. Cynthia's teacher, who was also a family friend, was devastated to find out about her death. Cynthia's father was on Dr. Phil to talk about it. It's, it's crazy. And the dude also offered money to get videos of people abusing 8 to 15-year-old girls. So he's an absolute piece of shit as well. How can people be so demented or sick? It's disgusting.